Okay, so last video we talked about pulling vibrato, where you're pulling the string towards the floor. Now you can't use that on the high E string, and you can't use it to much effect on the B string, or you'll slip off the edge of the frets. So for this kind of vibrato, we need to push the string up towards the ceiling. Now if you look closely, you'll notice that the joint on my finger is not moving. My fingers are very, very relaxed. I use a very light touch with this vibrato. And all I'm doing is pushing the string up. It's like my fingers are just relaxed, the joints are not moving, and I'm just moving the string kind of with my arm. Here's how it works. Relax your wrist and your fingers completely. Let them kind of just hang there like dead weight and just move your arm. So it's kind of like your wrist and your fingers are just taking a vacation. Your arm's doing all the work and they're just along for the ride. Just like that. If you want, you can re-angle your wrist. Just get comfortable with that motion. Doing that right before you play can help. Just kind of get you in the um, state of sensation you need to be in. So we come back, we go to do vibrato, and it feels the same. using the index finger for this kind of vibrato it helps a little bit if you reposition the thumb to be in line with the index finger um, it just makes it a little easier it gives you a point to push against and actually at um Woodstock when Hendrix is playing um, Red House he does this one line that goes and you can see that um he actually shifts his hand down like that, and I think it's because it does make it easier to do the um, pushing towards the ceiling vibrato when the thumb is lined up with the index finger.